That retail now keeps Theo constantly on the move. But the strain is offset by the ultimate in executive cars, a £350,000 chauffeur-driven limo. This vehicle is not just a vehicle. This vehicle is my office. OK, so what have we got? I've got broadband here. I have a fridge with suitable refreshment. And on, when, it, when, when it's really, really been a busy day, that can go for something just that little bit stronger. And as you can see, no limo like this should be without its champagne flutes. Sterling silver, obviously. I spend more time in here than I probably spend at home. I spend more time in here than I spend in the office. When I get tired, I can actually recline this, similar to an aircraft seat, and make the whole thing into a nice, comfy bed. Do you know, I still consider myself a poor little immigrant boy, which is very hard when you sit, sit in the back of a, in a hugely expensive car. But, you know, deep inside, that's who I am. And that's where I've been moulded. Uh, I never take anything I've achieved or any of the privileges that go with it uh, for granted. Uh, 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 Conserve the fuel. And really, by my early 30s, I'd made a hell of a lot of money. And I could have even at that stage had enough money to retire on. But that was never the reason why I made it. All the businesses I've bought have always been deep trouble. Ryman, I've been in receivership. La Senza was on the verge. La Senza, yeah, I bought for a, a pound and a couple of packets of Benson and Hedges. Oh, of course, there was a little bit of football in there somewhere. About eight years as chairman of Millwall Football Club. Culminated in promotions, FA Cup finals, European football. Be chairman of your club while you're going through that whole exciting period was unbelievable and I would never change that for the world. But three years ago, Theo started to restructure his business portfolio. I sold my shares in Millwall. I sold 90% of the centre, sold Contessa. People often say to me, you got rid of the sexy businesses and you kept the boring stationer? Let me just tell you, stationery is not boring. It's an exhilarating, very exciting, stable business. Girls, you're gonna be late. Welcome to the Fafitis household. Surrey, and the three-acre gated community home of Theo Pafitis. So how does a typical day begin for a dragon? This is Annie, ready for school, for a change. Good show. You've had breakfast, but I'm glad you had breakfast. Has Holly had breakfast? Yeah. You've had breakfast I as well? I had chocolate croissant. A typical, typical morning for Peter's household is Debbie and the girls getting up before me. I get a cup of tea. Dad's really stroppy when he gets out of bed in the morning. I've got to say at this stage, in my defence, every father out there watching this programme who's got daughters, just tell me what you do in the morning. You stay out of their way. The 49-year-old millionaire is married with two boys and three girls. But what do twins Annie and Holly think of having a dragon as a dad? When he's on dragon stand, it's awful. He's evil. What do you mean evil? He That's not a nice word. Evil. Who thinks I'm evil? My friends, because you, you ruin people's things and tell them that it's not very good. It's not me. It's a Scottish bloke. That's the Scotsman that does that. I'm the nice one in the middle. That's your dad there. The shortest one. Not the shortest the one. I'm actually the tallest, if you look. That's because you've got a higher seat. Yeah. yeah. You need to go. Girlies, you need to go. Enough of embarrassing me. Come on, bye-bye. There was no embarrassment when, in 2005, Theo replaced Simon Woodruff in the second series of Dragon's Den. 